the Tirukkural Tamil Tirukkural literally sacred verses or shortly the Kural is a classic Tamil text consisting of 1330 couplets or kurals dealing with the everyday virtues of an individual it is one of the two oldest works now extant in Tamil literature in their entirety the other being the Tolkapiyam Considered one of the greatest works ever written on ethics and morality, chiefly secular ethics, it is known for its universality and non-denominational nature. It was authored by Vallava, also known in full as Thiruvallava. The text has been dated variously from 300 BCE to 5th century CE. The traditional accounts describe it as the last work of the Third Sangam, but linguistic analysis suggests a later date of 450 to 500 CE traditionally praised as the Universal Veda and the Universal Code of Conduct. The Kuril emphasizes on the vital principles of non-violence, moral vegetarianism or veganism, human brotherhood, absence of desires, path of righteousness and truth, and so forth, besides covering a wide range of subjects such as moral codes of rulers, friendship, agriculture, knowledge and wisdom, sobriety, love, and domestic life. The work is commonly quoted in vegetarian conferences, both in India and abroad. Considered as chef d'oeuvre of both Indian and world literature, the Kural is one of the most important works in the Tamil language and is often called the masterpiece of Tamil literature, both in its philosophical and literary caliber. This is reflected in some of the other names by which the text is given by, such as the work of three books, Modern Veda, Divine Work, Faultless Word, and Tamil Veda. The Kural has influenced several scholars across the ethical, social, political, economical, religious, philosophical, and spiritual spheres. Authors influenced by the Kuril include Ilingo Adigal, Kambar, Leo Tolstoy, Mahatma Gandhi, Albert Schweitzer, Constantius Joseph Besky, Karl Grawl, George Uglo Pope, Alexander Piatigorsky, and UHSI, many of whom have translated the work into their languages. Translated into at least 40 languages as of 2014, the Kuril is one of the most widely translated works in the world. Because the life, culture and ethics of the Tamils are considered to be solely defined in terms of the values set by the Kuril, the government and the people of Tamil Nadu alike uphold the text with utmost reverence. Along with the Gita, the Kuril is a prime candidate nominated to be the National Book of India, for which a declaration was passed at the Tamil Nadu Assembly in 2006. Topic. Etymology The term Tirukkural is a compound word made of two individual terms, Tiru and Kural. Tiru is an honorific Tamil term that corresponds to the universally Indian, Sanskrit term Shri meaning, holy, sacred, excellent, honorable, and beautiful. The term Tiru has as many as 19 different meanings. Kural means something that is short, concise, and abridged. Etymologically, Kural is the shortened form of Kural Patu, which is derived from Kuruvan Patu, one of the two Tamil poetic forms explained by Tolkapiyam, the other one being Nedavan Patu. According to Winslow, Kural is used as a literary term to indicate a metrical line of two feet, or a distich or couplet of short lines, the first of four and the second of three feet. Thus, Tirukkural literally comes to mean sacred couplets. The Kural is unique among ancient works that it did not have a name nor did it have any mention of the author's name in it at the time of its release at the ruler's court at the city of Madurai, the seat of the third Tamil Sangam. The author used the title Muppal, meaning, three divisions, to present it to the king, since the work was written about the first three of the four ancient Indian aims in life, known as Purusharthas, viz., virtue, wealth and love, with the fourth aim, namely, salvation moksha, implicitly said in the last five chapters of Book I remaining nameless for several years after its writing, the work came to be referred to by various names in the centuries that followed. 
Nine traditional names had already been in use to refer to the book during the time of writing of the Tiruvallava Malia, a eulogy written on the Kuril by various poets between the 1st and 11th centuries CE. Nevertheless, the title Muppal remained the work's primary name until the 13th century CE. It is estimated that the Kuril has historically been known by as many as 44 names given at various periods over the millennia, making it one of the numerously titled works. <laughs> Organization of the work The Kuril is structured into 133 chapters, each containing 10 couplets, or Kurils, for a total of 1,330 couplets. The 133 chapters are grouped into three parts, or books. Book 1, Aram, Aram Book of Virtue Dharma, dealing with virtues independent of the surroundings chapters 1-38, Book 2, Parul, Parul Book of Polity Arthur, dealing with virtues with respect to the surroundings chapters 39 to 108. Book 3, Inbam, Inpam Book of Love Karma, dealing with virtues involved in conjugal human love chapters 109 to 133 Aram refers to ethical values for the holistic pursuit of life, Parul refers to wealth obtained in ethical manner guided by Aram, and Inbam or Kamam refers to pleasure and fulfillment of one's desires, also in an Aram-driven manner. Although parole and inbam are desirable pursuits in human life, they both need to be regulated by Aram. One must remain unattached to wealth and possessions, which can either be transcended or sought with detachment and awareness. Similarly, pleasure needs to be fulfilled consciously and without harming anyone. It is said that there exists an inherent tension between parole and inbam. Thus, wealth and pleasure must be pursued with an action with renunciation nishkam karma which is nothing but an aram driven action that is craving free in order to resolve this tension each kural or couplet contains exactly 7 words known as cirs with 4 cirs on the first line and 3 on the second following the kural meter a circle is a single or a combination of more than one tamil word for example, the term Thirukural is a circle formed by combining the two words Thiru and Kural. The book on Aram virtue, contains 380 verses, that of Parul wealth, has 700 and that of Inbam or Kamam love, has 250. The overall organization of the Kural text is based on seven ideals prescribed for a commoner besides observations of love. This includes 40 couplets on God, rain, ascetics, and virtue, 200 on domestic virtue, 140 on higher yet most fundamental virtue based on grace, benevolence and compassion, 250 on royalty, 100 on ministers of state, 220 on essential requirements of administration, 130 on morality, both positive and negative, and 250 on human love and passion. Topic. Date The Kuril has been dated variously from 300 BCE to 5th century CE. According to traditional accounts, it was the last work of the Third Sangam, and was subjected to a divine test which it passed. The scholars who believe this tradition, such as Somasundara Bharathir and M. Rajamunikam, date the text to as early as 300 BCE. Historian K. K. Pillay assigned it to the early 1st century CE. Linguist Kamal Svelabil is certain that Tirukural does not belong to the Sangam period, and dates it to somewhere between 450 and 500 CE. His estimate is based on the language of the text, its allusions to the earlier works, and its borrowing from some Sanskrit treatises. Svelabil notes that the text features several grammatical innovations, that are absent in the older Sangam literature. The text also features a higher number of Sanskrit loan words compared to these older texts. 
According to Svelabil, besides being part of the ancient Tamil literary tradition, the author was also a part of the one great Indian ethical, didactic tradition, as a few of his verses seem to be translations of the verses in Sanskrit texts such as Manavadharma Sastra and Kautilya's Arthasastra. S. Bayapuri Palai assigned the work to C. 650 CE, believing that it borrowed from some Sanskrit works of 6th century CE. Svelabil disagrees with this assessment, pointing out that some of the words that Palai believed to be Sanskrit loan words have now been proved to be of Dravidian origin by Thomas Burrow and Murray Barnes and Emino. In 1921, in the face of incessant debate on the precise date, the Tamil Nadu government, taking the latest of the estimated dates, officially declared 31 BCE as the year of Balava at a conference presided over by Marimalai Adigal. On 18 January 1935, the Valava year was added to the calendar. Topic. Author Very little is known about Valava, the author of the Kuril. In his work The Smile of Murugan, Czech scholar Kamil Svelabil cites a tradition suggesting he was an outcast by birth, the issue of a union between a Brahmin man and a pariah woman. Some think that he was a weaver by caste. He is believed to have been born under a punai or mastwood tree Calophyllum inophyllum, in the temple town of Mylapore, a locality within the present-day Chennai, and is said to be a simple weaver by profession who wrote the Kurals with divine inspiration. He was married to Vasuki. He remained a close friend to and the mentor of Alelisingan. The first instance of the author's name mentioned as Valava is found to be several centuries later in a song of praise called the Tiruvallava Malia. Just as the book remained unnamed at the time of its presentation at the court of the ruler, the author too did not name himself in the writing of the book. Over the centuries that followed, people started calling the work Tirukural and its author as Thiruvallava. Monsieur Ariel, who translated the Kuril text into French, thus praised it as, the book without a name by an author without a name. There are also claims and counter claims as to the authorship of the book and to the exact number of couplets written by Valava. Valava is thought to have belonged to either Jainism or Hinduism. This can be observed in his treatment of the concept of ahimsa or non-violence, which is the principal concept of both the religions. Valava's treatment of the chapters on moral vegetarianism or veganism and non-killing reflects the Jain precepts, where these are stringently enforced. The three parts that the Kuril is divided into, namely, Aram virtue, Parul wealth, and Inbam love, aiming at attaining Vidi ultimate salvation, follow, respectively, the four foundations of Hinduism, namely, Dharma, Artha, Karma and Moksha. His mentioning of God Vishnu in couplets 610 and 1103 and Goddess Lakshmi in couplets 167, 408, 519, 565, 568, 616, and 617 suggests the Vaishnavite beliefs of Valava. Other Eastern beliefs of Valava found in the book include previous birth and rebirth, seven births, and some ancient Indian astrological concepts, among others. Despite using these contemporary religious concepts of his time, Valava has limited the usage of these terms to a metaphorical sense to explicate the fundamental virtues and ethics, without enforcing any of these religious beliefs in practice. This, chiefly, has made the treatise earn the title Ulaga Podu Marai, the Universal Scripture. There is also the recent claim by Kanyakumari Historical and Cultural Research Center (KHCRC) that Valava was a king who ruled Valavanadu in the hilly tracts of the Kanyakumari district of Tamil Nadu. The only other book that is attributed to Valava other than the Kural text is Nanaveti, a text that deals with spiritual aspects, due to which the author is also known as Nanavetian. Topic: 
Structural and linguistic plan of the work The Kuril text contains 12,505 words, of which 4,310 are base words. Scholars identify anywhere between 17 and 123 words as being of Sanskrit origin, which is much less than any other ancient work of the Tamil literature. Having written by a single author, the Kuril literature reveals a single structural plan. The Kuril is not an anthology for there is not any later additions to the text. According to Kamal Svelabil, the content of the Kuril text is undoubtedly patterned. The entire work has been structured very carefully without an allowance for any structural gaps in the text such that every couplet remains indispensable for the structured whole. Thus, one can find two distinct meanings for every couplet in the Kuril literature, namely, a structural one and a proverbial one. In their isolated form, that is, when removed from the content structure, the couplets lose their structural meaning, the most important of the two, with the isolated distiches still remaining charming and interesting in themselves. This simply makes the isolated couplet a wise saying or a moral maxim. A literary proverb in perfect form, possessing, in varying degree, the prosodic and rhetoric qualities of gnomic poetry. On the other hand, within the content structure, the couplets acquire their structural meaning in relation to other couplets, forming higher patterns, and finally, in relation to the entire work, they acquire perfection in the totality of the structure. Scholars opine that the work was composed by Valava in the purest Tamil of his time. According to John Lazarus, of the 12,000 words that Valava employed in the work, there are scarcely 50 of Sanskrit origin. According to Pavalareru Perenchathiranar, Valava has employed at least 28 different methods of conveying thoughts in the Kuril text. <laughs> <laughs> Substance of the work Written with the contemporary society in view and marked by pragmatic idealism, the Kuril text is unique among the ancient literature in terms of both its poetic and its intellectual accomplishments. In poetic terms, it fuses verse and aphoristic form in diction in a «pithy, vigorous, forceful and terse» manner. In intellectual terms, it is written on the basis of secular ethics, expounding a universal, moral and practical attitude towards life. Unlike religious scriptures, the Kuril refrains from talking of hopes and promises of the other-worldly life. Rather it speaks of the ways of cultivating one's mind to achieve the other-worldly bliss in the present life itself. By occasionally referring to bliss beyond the worldly life, Valava equates what can be achieved in humanly life with what may be attained thereafter. Only in a couple of introductory chapters, chapters 1 and 3, does Valava sound religious. Even here, he maintains a tone that could be acceptable to people of all faiths. It is believed that Valava composed every chapter in response to a request to produce ten best couplets on a particular subject. Nevertheless, he seldom shows any concern as to what similes and superlatives he used earlier while writing on other subjects, purposely allowing for some repetition and mild contradictions in ideas one can find in the Kuril text. Despite knowing its seemingly contradictory nature from a purist point of view, Valava employs this method to emphasize the importance of the given code of ethic. Following are some of the instances where Valava employs contradictions to expound the virtues. While in Chapter 93 Valava writes on the evils of intoxication, in Chapter 109 he uses the same to show the sweetness of love by saying love is sweeter than wine. To the question, what is wealth of all wealth? Valava points out to two different things, namely, grace Kuril 241, and hearing Kuril 411. 
In regard to the virtues one should follow dearly even at the expense of other virtues, Valava points to veracity, Kuril 297, not coveting another's wife, Kuril 150, and not being called a slanderer, Kuril 181. In essence, however, in Chapter 33 he crowns non-killing as the foremost of all virtues, pushing even the virtue of veracity to the second place, Kuril 323. Where Asi says that one can eject what is natural or inborn in him, Kuril 376, he indicates that one can overcome the inherent natural flaws by getting rid of laziness, Kuril 609. While in Chapter 7 he asserts that the greatest gain men can obtain is by the learned children, Kuril 61, in Chapter 13 he says that it is that which is obtained by self-control, Kuril 122, nevertheless, the basic ideas of Valava is found in the introductory section of the Kuril, which includes the first four chapters of the text. Balava begins this portion with the invocation of God and continues to praise the rain for being the vitalizer of all life forms on earth and describe the qualities of a righteous person, before concluding the introduction by emphasizing the value of aram or virtue. Balava extols rain next only to God for it provides food and serves as the basis of a stable economic life by aiding in agriculture, which Valava asserts as the most important economic activity later in Book 2 of the Kuril text. The entire writing of all the three books of the Kuril text bases Aram or Dharma as its cornerstone, which resulted in the Kuril being referred to simply as Aram. Contrary to what the Manuesemriti says, Valava holds that Aram is common for all, irrespective of whether the person is a bearer of palanquin or the rider in it. The greatest of virtues according to Valava is non-killing, followed by veracity, which he plainly indicates in couplet 323, and the two greatest sins that Valava feels very strongly are ingratitude and meat-eating. As observed by P. S. Sundaram in the introduction to his work, while, "...all other sins may be redeemed, but never ingratitude," Valava couldn't understand, "...how anyone could wish to fatten himself by feeding on the fat of others." The Kuril differs from every other work on morality in that it follows ethics, surprisingly a divine one, even in its Book of Love. In the words of Gopal Krishna Gandhi, Valava maintains his views on personal morality even in the Book of Love, where one can normally expect greater poetic leniency, by describing the hero as a one-woman man, without concubines. Topic. Comparison with other ancient literature Unlike the mystic philosopher of Lao Tzu or the law-giving prophets of the Judeo-Christian tradition, Valava remained a philosopher concerning with the day-to-day -day conduct of a common individual. Scholars compares the codes of virtue, nobility, propriety, just governance, conduct, social obligations, self-control, education and knowledge with other ancient thoughts such as the Confucian sayings in Lun Yu, Hitapadesa, Panchatantra, Manuesemriti, Tiramandiram, Book of Proverbs in the Bible, sayings of the Buddha in Dharmapada, and the ethical works of Persian origin such as Gulistan and Bustan, in addition to the holy books of of various religions. Topic: Similarities with ancient Indian literature. Several ancient Indian literature, such as Manuesemriti, Kautilya's Arthashastra, Kamandaka's Nitasara, bear likeness with the second book, Parul, the book on wealth, of the Kuril text, while Vatsyayana's Kama Sutra shares similarities with Inbam, the third book of the Kuril text, the book on love. However, the attitude and approach of Valava in expounding the virtues remain entirely different from any of these contemporary works. While the Artha Shastra is based on subtle statecraft, the Parul of the Kuril text bases morality and benevolence as its cornerstones. 
The social hierarchies and discrimination found in Manuel Semriti are contrasted with Valava's concept of universal brotherhood and oneness of humanity. Unlike Kama Sutra, which is all about eros and techniques of sexual fulfillment, the Kuril text of Inbam remains a poetic appreciation of flowering human love as explicated by the Sangam period's concept of intimacy, known as Aham in the Tamil literary tradition. Topic. Similarities with Confucian thoughts The Kuril text and the Confucian sayings recorded in the classic analects of Chinese, called Lun Yu, meaning, sacred sayings, resemble each other in many ways. Both Valava and Confucius focused on the behaviors and moral conducts of a common person. Similar to Valava, Confucius advocated legal justice embracing human principles, courtesy, and filial piety, besides the virtues of benevolence, righteousness, loyalty and trustworthiness as foundations of life. Incidentally, Valava differed from Confucius in two respects. Firstly, unlike Confucius, Valava was also a poet. Secondly, Confucius did not deal with the subject of conjugal love, for which Valava devoted an entire division in his work. Child rearing is central to the Confucian thought of procreation of humanity and the benevolence of society. The Lun Yu says, therefore an enlightened ruler will regulate his people's livelihood so as to ensure that, above they have enough to serve their parents and below they have enough to support their wives and children. Topic. Publication of the work Save for the highly educated circle of scholars and elites outside the Tamil land, the Kuril remained largely unknown to the outside world for close to one and a half millennia. It had been passed on as word of mouth from parents to their children and from preceptors to their students for generations within the Tamil-speaking regions of South India. It was not until 1595 when the first translation of the work appeared in Malayalam that the work became known to the wider circle outside the Tamil-speaking communities. The work first came to print in 1812, with the Kuril text getting published in Tamil, chiefly by the efforts of the then collector of Madras Francis White Ellis, who established the Chennai Kalvi Sangam. It was published by Thanjai M. Gunaprakasam. It was only in 1835 that Indians were permitted to establish printing press. Thus, the Kuril became the first book to be published in Tamil, followed by the Naladya. Subsequent editions of the work appeared in 1831, 1833, 1838, 1840, and 1842. The work has been continuously in print ever since. By 1925, the work has already appeared in more than 65 editions. Soon after the first publishing of the work, commentaries to the work began to appear in print. Mahalinga Iyer published the first 24 chapters of the Kuril with commentaries for the first time. Paramel Hagar's commentary was published for the first time in 1840 and became the most widely published commentary ever since. In 1850, the complete work of the Kuril was published with commentaries by Vedagiri Mudalir, who published a revised version later in 1853. This publication was later used by Valilar Ramalinga Adigal to teach the Kuril to the masses. Although the Kuril text first came to print in 1812 becoming the first book ever published in Tamil, Manakudavar's commentary, however, did not appear in print until the 20th century. It was only in 1917 that Manakudavar's commentary for the first book of the Kuril text was published by V. O. Chidambaram Pillai. Manakudavar commentary for the entire Kuril text was first published in 1925 by K. Ponasami Nadar. 
As of 2013, Peramel Hagar's commentary appeared in more than 200 editions by as many as 30 publishers. In December 2018, the first edition of the Kuril text in Tamil Brahmi script, the script that was in vogue during Vallava's time, was published by the International Institute of Tamil Studies. IITS. This made the Kuril text available for the first time in a script in which the work might have originally written probably during the 1st century BCE or 1st century CE. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commentaries and translations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commentaries. The Kuril is arguably the most reviewed of all works in Tamil literature, and almost every notable scholar has written commentaries, explanation in prose or verse, on it. According to R. Ilinkumaran, there are four necessary prerequisites for writing commentaries to the Kuril text. The awareness that the meaning of everything that is written in the Kuril text is available in the work itself. A workable knowledge of the Tolkapyam. A thorough knowledge of the Sangam literature and landscape. A practical knowledge of how things work in their nature. There have been several commentaries written on the Kuril over the centuries. Many poets of the first few centuries of the Common Era used various Kuril couplets to illustrate their works. These include Ilingo Adigal, Sidhalai Sathanar, Secular, and Kambar, to name a few. These can be considered the first commentaries to the Kuril text, albeit in verse form and incomplete. In the centuries that followed, numerous commentators of various other works employed Kuril couplets to elaborate their ideas, providing explanations to the couplets in the process, both in verse and in prose forms. These include Adiyaku Nala, Nachinakiniya, Mayalinathar, and Shankara Namakivyar. Exclusive commentaries on the Kuril text started appearing much later. There were at least ten medieval commentaries written by pioneer poets, of which only six are available today. The ten canonical medieval commentators include Manakudavar, Darumar, Dharmata, Naka, Parithya, Thirumalayar, Mala, Pari Perimal, Kalingar, and Paramelalhagar, all of whom lived between the 10th and the 13th centuries CE. Of these, only the works of Manakudavar, Paradi, Kalingar, Pari Perimal, and Paramelalhagar are available today. The works of Darumar, Dharmata, and Naka are only partially available. The commentaries by Thirumalayar and Mala are lost completely. The pioneer among these commentators are Paramelal Hagar and Manakudavar. Among the ten medieval commentaries, scholars have found spelling, homophonic, and other minor textual variations in a total of 900 couplets, including 217 couplets in Book 1, 487 couplets in Book 2, and 196 couplets in Book 3. Besides the ten canonical medieval commentaries, there are three more medieval commentaries written by unknown authors. One of them was published under the title, Palaya Urai, meaning ancient commentary, while the second one was based on Paradiyar's commentary. The third one was published in 1991 under the title, Jaina Urai, meaning Jaina commentary, by Saraswathi Mahal Library in Tanjavur. Following these medieval commentaries, there are at least 21 Venba commentaries to the Kuril, including Sumzar Mudamoli Venba, Marugazar Mujuneri Venba, Savasiva Venba, Iringaza Venba, and Vadamalai Venba, all of which are considered commentaries in verse form. Several modern commentaries started appearing in the 19th and the 20th centuries. Some of the commentaries of the 20th century include those by Yothi Thas, V. O. Chidambaram Pillai, Thiru Vaikar, Bharathi Dasan, M. Varadarajan, Namakal Kavanya, Thirukarela V. Munasami, Devania Pavana, M. Karunanathi, and Solomon Papaya. Translations 
The first translation known of the Kuril text is a Malayalam translation that appeared in about 1595. However, the manuscript remained unpublished and was first reported by the annual report of the Kochi Archaeological Department for the year 1933–1934. The Christian missionaries who came to India during the colonial era, inspired by the similarities of the Christian ideals found in the Kuril, started translating the text into various European languages. The Latin translation of the Kuril, the first of the translations into European languages, was made by Constantius Joseph Besky in 1730. However, he translated only the first two parts, viz., virtue and wealth, leaving out the section on love assuming that it would be inappropriate for a Christian missionary to do so. The first French translation was brought about by an unknown author by about 1767 that went unnoticed. The first available French version was by Monsieur Ariel in 1848. Again, he did not translate the whole work but only parts of it. The first German translation was made by Dr. Karl Grohl, who published it in 1856 both at London and Leipzig. Grohl's translation was unfortunately incomplete due to his premature death. The first, and incomplete, English translations were made by N. E. Kindersley in 1794 and then by Francis White Ellis in 1812. While Kindersley translated a selection of the Kuril text, Ellis translated 120 couplets in all—69 of them in verse and 51 in prose. W. H. Drew translated the first two parts in prose in 1840 and 1852, respectively. It contained the original Tamil text of the Kuril, Paramel Hagar's commentary, Ramanuja Kaviriyar's amplification of the commentary and Drew's English prose translation. However, Drew was able to translate only 630 couplets, and the remaining were made by John Lazarus, a native missionary. Like Besky, Drew did not translate the part on love. The first complete English translation of the Kuril was the one by George Uglo Pope in 1886, which brought the Kuril to the Western world. By the end of the 20th century, there were about 24 translations of the Kuril in English alone, by both native and non native scholars, including those by Vvsir, K. M. Balasubramaniam, Shuddhananda Bharati, H. Akravati, M. S. Pernalingam Pillai, C. Rajagopalachari, P. S. Sundaram, V. R. Ramachandra Dikshatar, G. Van Makanathan, Kasturi Srinivasan, S. N. Sriramadesikan, and K. R. Srinivasa Iyenga. At present, the Kuril has been translated into 37 languages. It is also said that the work has also been translated into Vagri Buli, the language of the Narakuravas, a tribal community in Tamil Nadu, by Kitu Saranmani. It is the most translated Tamil literature and also the most translated non-religious text of India. Topic: Translational difficulties. With a highly compressed prosodic form, the Kuril text employs the intricately complex Kuril Venba meter, known for its eminent suitability to gnomic poetry. This form, which Svelabil calls a marvel of brevity and condensation, is closely connected with the structural properties of the Tamil language and has historically presented extreme difficulties to its translators. Talking about translating the Kuril into other languages, Herbert Arthur Popley observes, It is impossible in any translation to do justice to the beauty and force of the original. Svelabil claims that it is impossible to truly appreciate the maxims found in the Kuril couplets through a translation but rather that the Kuril has to be read and understood in its original Tamil form. Besides these inherent difficulties in translating the Kuril, some scholars have attempted to either read their own ideas into the Kuril couplets or deliberately misinterpret the message to make it conform to their preconceived notions. The Latin translation by Father Beshi, for instance, contains several such mistranslations noticed by modern scholars. 
According to V. Ramasamy, Besky is purposely distorting the message of the original when he renders Pyravali as the sea of miserable life, and the phrase Pyraviparankatal as sea of this birth, which has been translated by others as the sea of many births. Besky means thus, those who swim the vast sea of miseries. The concept of rebirth or many births for the same soul is contrary to Christian principle and belief. Topic. Reception While it has been widely acknowledged that Valava was of Jain origin and the Kuril to its most part was inspired from Jain, Hindu and other ancient Indian philosophies, owing to its universality and non-denominational nature, almost every religious group in India and across the world, including Christianity, has claimed the work for itself. For example, G. U. Pope speaks of the book as an echo of the Sermon on the Mount. In the introduction to his English translation of the Kuril, Pope even claims, I cannot feel any hesitation in saying that the Christian scriptures were among the sources from which the poet derived his inspiration. However, the chapters on the ethics of moral vegetarianism, Chapter 26, and Non-Killing, Chapter 33, which the Kuril emphasizes emphatically unlike the Bible or other Abrahamic religious texts, suggest that the ethics of the Kuril is rather a reflection of the Jaina moral code than of Christian ethics. John Lazarus observes that, in stark contrast to the Bible's concept of killing, which refers only to the taking away of human life, the Kuril's chapter on killing deals exclusively with the literal taking away of life, of both humans and animals. J. M. Nalaswamy Pillai dismisses Pope's statement as an absurd literary anachronism, citing the Kuril text as a stumbling block which can browbeat the most sublime ideas of Christian morality. The Kuril is praised for its universality across the globe. The ancient Tamil poet Avayar observed, Valava pierced an atom and injected seven seas into it and compressed it into what we have today as Kuril. The Russian philosopher Alexander Piatigorsky called it chef d'oeuvre of both Indian and world literature, due not only to the great artistic merits of the work but also to the lofty humane ideas permeating it which are equally precious to the people all over the world, of all periods and countries." G. U. Pope called its author, "...a bard of universal man," according to Albert Schweitzer. There hardly exists in the literature of the world a collection of maxims in which we find so much of lofty wisdom. Leo Tolstoy called it, the Hindu Kuril, and Mahatma Gandhi called it, a textbook of indispensable authority on moral life, and went on to say, the maxims of Valava have touched my soul. There is none who has given such a treasure of wisdom like him. Sir A. Grant said, "...humility, charity and forgiveness of injuries, being Christian qualities, are not described by Aristotle. Now these three are everywhere forcibly inculcated by the Tamil moralist." Edward Jewett Robinson said that the Kuril contains all things and there is nothing which it does not contain. Reverend John Lazarus said, no Tamil work can ever approach the purity of the Kuril. It is a standing repute to modern Tamil. According to K. M. Munshi, Thirukural is a treatise par excellence on the art of living. Sri Aurobindo stated, Thirukural is gnomic poetry, the greatest in planned conception and force of execution ever written in this kind. Monsieur Ariel, who translated and published the third part of the Kural to French in 1848, called it a masterpiece of Tamil literature, one of the highest and purest expressions of human thought. According to Rev. Emmons E. White, Thirukural is a synthesis of the best moral teachings of the world. Rajaji commented, It is the gospel of love and a code of soul luminous life. The whole of human aspiration is epitomized in this immortal book, a book for all ages. Zakir Hussain, former President of India, said, 
Thirukkural is a treasure house of worldly knowledge, ethical guidance and spiritual wisdom. Along with Nalatiya, another work on ethics and morality from the Sangam period, the Kural is praised for its veracity. An age-old Tamil maxim has it that, Banyan and Neem maintain oral health, 4 and 2 maintain moral health, where, 4, and, to refer to the quatrains and couplets of Nalatiya and the Kural, respectively. In popular culture With the rediscovery of the image of Vallava in 1959, the portrait of the author with matted hair and a flowing beard, as drawn by artist K. R. Venugopal Sharma in 1960, was accepted by the state and central governments as the standardized version. It soon became a popular and the standard portrait of the poet. In 1964, the image was unveiled in the Indian parliament by the then president of India Zakir Hussain. In 1967, the Tamil Nadu government passed an order stating that the image of Vallava should be present in all government offices across the state of Tamil Nadu. The Kural does not appear to have been set in music by Vallava. However, a number of musicians have set it to tune and several singers have rendered it in their concerts. Modern composers who have tuned the Kural couplets include Mayuram Viswanatha Sastri and Ramani Bharadwaj. Singers who have performed full-fledged Tirukkural concerts include M. M. Dandapani Desikar and Chidambaram C. S. J. Araman. Madurai Soma Sundaram and Sanjay Subramanian are other people who have given musical rendering of the Kural. Mayuram Vishwanatha Shastri set all the verses to music in the early 20th century. In January 2016, Chitravina N. Ravakiran set the entire 1330 verses to music in a record time of 16 hours. It can be said that it was cinema that made the general public hear Tirukkural being sung. For instance, K. Balachanda's Kavithalaya Productions opened its films with the very first couplet of the Kural sung in the background. Several Tirukkural conferences were conducted in the 20th century, most famously by Tirukkural v. Munasami in 1941 and by Periyar E. V. Ramasami in 1949. The 1949 conference, headed by Thiru. Vi. Ka, T. P. Meenakshi Sundaram, and A. Chakravarti, was held for two days on 15 and 16 January, with several scholars and celebrities participating in it, including S. Somasundara Bharati, Kandasami Mudalia, Tirukkarela Munasami, C. Alakuvana, S. Muttaya Mudalia, K. Appadurai, Pulavar Kalandhai, actor N. S. Krishnan, and the later day Chief Minister of the State C. N. Anadurai. In 1818, the then collector of Madras Francis White Ellis, who had a high regard for Vallava and his work, issued a gold coin bearing Vallava's image when he was made in charge of the Madras Treasury and Mint. In the late 19th century, the South Indian St. Vallala launched a movement in Vardalore to teach Tirukkural to the masses. In 1968, the Tamil Nadu government made it mandatory to display a Kural couplet in all government buses. The train running a distance of 2,921 km between Kanyakumari and New Delhi is named by the Indian Railways as the Thirukkural Express. Kural also remains an integral part of the lifestyle of Tamil-speaking populations that it is propagated through various means such as music, dance, street shows, recitals, activities, and puzzles and riddles. Topic Memorials. The Kural text and its author have been highly venerated over the centuries. In the early 16th century, a temple was constructed in Mylapore, Chennai, in honor of Vallabha. It was extensively renovated in the 1970s. There are also temples for Vallava at Periya Kalyampathur, Fondi, Kanjur Fatanpadi, Senapathi, and Vilvarani. In 1976, Vallava Kottam, a monument to honor the Kural literature and its author, was constructed in Chennai. 
The chief element of the monument includes a 39m high chariot, a replica of the chariot in the temple town of Thiruvarur, and it contains a life-size statue of Vallava. All the 1,330 verses of the Kural text are inscribed on bas relief in the corridors in the main hall. Statues of Vallava have been erected across the globe, including the ones at Kanyakumari, Chennai, Bengaluru, Haridwar, Puttalam, Singapore, and London. The tallest of these is the 133 feet 40.6 meters stone statue of Vallava erected in 2000 atop a small island in the town of Kanyakumari on the southernmost tip of the Indian Peninsula, at the confluence of the Bay of Bengal, the Arabian Sea, and the Indian Ocean. This statue is currently India's 25th tallest. Topic. Legacy The Kural remains one of the most influential texts of ancient India and the chief text of the Tamil language, influencing generations of scholars at a pan-Indian expanse. The work had influenced people from all walks of lives, which can be inferred from the parallels found in the literatures of various languages within the Indian subcontinent. Although translations of the work into other Indian languages were not available until at least the 16th century, the work had been studied by other language scholars for centuries before the foreign invasion of India. With its translations into European languages starting from the early 18th century, Kural began to have a global influence. Besides perhaps numerous poets of the late Sangam era including Avi and Kapilar, authors influenced by the Kuril include Ilingo Adigal, Siddhalai Sathanar, Secular, Kambar, Leo Tolstoy, Mahatma Gandhi, Albert Schweitzer, Vallalar, Monsieur Ariel, Constantius Joseph Besky, Karl Grawl, August Friedrich Kemmerer, Nathaniel Edward Kindersley, Francis White Ellis, Charles E. Gover, George Uglo Pope, Vinoba Bhavi, Alexander Piatagorsky, APJ Abdul Kalam, and UHSI. Many of these authors have translated the work into their languages. Historically, the Kuril experienced a few centuries of hiatus soon after its writing, dubbed the Dark Age, following which it enjoyed a revival period when the teachings of the Kuril started to influence people greatly. A notable example was from the period of Karakalan during the 1st century CE, when the Chola ruler was influenced by the Kuril to undertake several historically significant agricultural reforms, including reclaiming lands and building dams. Another example was during the Pallava dynasty when the people had to face the Kalavra invasion around 250 CE. Kuril remains the only work that was honored with an exclusive work of compiled paeans in the Sangam literature, believed to have been authored by 55 different poets, including legendary ones. Kuril also remains the most quoted Tamil work ever since the post Sangam period. Classical works such as the Purana Nuru, Manimakalai, Salapathakaram, Periya Puranam, and Kamba Ramayanam all cite the Kuril by various names, bestowing numerous titles to the work that was originally untitled by its author. In Kamba Ramayanam, poet Kamba has used as many as 600 couplets of the Kuril. Kuril couplets and thoughts are cited in 32 instances in the Purana Nuru, 35 in Purapural Venba Malia, one each in Pathatrupathu and the Ten Idols, 13 in the Salapathakaram, 91 in the Manimakalai, 20 in Javaka Chintamani, 12 in Vili Bharatham, 7 in Thiruvalayadal Puranam, and 4 in Kanda Puranam. The Kuril text was first included in the school syllabus by the then British government. However, only select 275 couplets have been taught to the schoolchildren from standards 3 to 12. Attempts to include the Kuril literature as a compulsory subject in schools were ineffective in the decades following independence. 
On 26 April 2016, the Madras High Court directed the state government to include all the 108 chapters of the Books of Aram and Parul of the Kuril text in school syllabus for classes by through 12 from the academic year 2017-2018, to build a nation with moral values. The court observed. No other philosophical or religious work has such moral and intellectual approach to problems of life. The Kuril has inspired many to pursue the path of ahimsa or non violence. Leo Tolstoy was inspired by the concept of non violence found in the Kuril when he read a German version of the book, who in turn instilled the concept in Mahatma Gandhi through his A Letter to a Hindu when young Gandhi sought his guidance. Gandhi then took to studying the Kuril in prison, which eventually culminated in his starting the non-violence movement to fight against the British. It is said that Gandhi had learnt Tamil only to read the original text of the Kuril. Valilar was inspired by the Kuril at a young age and spent his whole life promoting compassion and non-violence, emphasizing on a compassionate, non-killing, and meatless way of life. Topic. See also Topic. Notes equals equals citations. <laughs>